Hello, welcome to challenge number 13. Are you ready? Let's see what it says. Okay. Clean your wardrobe and get rid of anything you no longer use by donating it to someone who needs it. Don't sell it. More blessed is he who gives than he who receives. How will this challenge help you? You may look at this and think, well, that's easy. I do my spring cleanings from time to time anyway. But I want to invite you to look at it in a different way, from a different angle. As you do this task, this challenge, it would be nice if you can be by yourself because I want you to get used to being alone with your thoughts when you do these challenges. What do you mean? If you have someone there by your side, you will not understand the spiritual side of this challenge. It will be just an activity. Oh, can you please help me? Maybe you have a sister, you share your bedroom with, with a family member, with a friend. Then you will be like, oh, can you help me please? I'm going to do a spring cleaning. Can you grab me a bag? And, and this, this and that. Okay. So you, you will miss the point when you are by yourself. You get to think, you pay attention to your thoughts, and this is important. When you are always with someone there with you, the person is there chit-chatting with you, ch you know, exchanging ideas. So, for instance, how should you do this task, this challenge? First, pray, my God, I'm going to do this challenge. What do you want me to learn from this challenge? What is it? To me, maybe you will say in your prayer, to me, this looks and sounds very easy. So how does this challenge me? So you make your prayer, right? And then you get on with it. You, you grab a bag, you get ready and you make time to be alone. And God will speak to you here. You see, this is why this is just something on the side. This is why the fast of Daniel is so important. Because you get to be alone with your thoughts. Because we, we have so much bombarding our mind on a daily basis, don't we? It's news, it's internet, it's browsing of useless things and browsing of, you know, uh, bloggers and how to do this, how to do that, how to wear this, how to do that. So our mind is constantly busy with things that don't change our life. So Going back to the challenge, be by yourself and make this prayer. And as you do this, as you open your wardrobe, your, your drawers, your closet and all these things where you store your clothing, look, take a look at everything you have and the Holy Spirit will start talking to you. For example, you will notice maybe that you have a lot of impulse buys. You bought many things so that you could look trendy or because maybe at that time you were following a blogger and you, st you started buying certain things that don't really suit you anyway, but you bought it. You will notice as well that you have spent a huge amount of your money on things that were not necessary for you, things that don't look good on you. Maybe you got into debt. Maybe you will pick up something from your wardrobe and you will look at it and see and think. And remember, I haven't yet paid for this. Do you understand how this challenge is spiritual? And then as you go on, as you do this challenge, you will perhaps, because you've been invited to give away what doesn't suit you or fit you anymore, things you don't wear. That will work in you, the thing of giving. Maybe you, you just don't think about giving. And it's not because you are a bad person, but you haven't realized it. Oh, hold on. Maybe something that I have may be new to someone. If I give it away, this will help someone else. So this will help you um, in three things that we can see straight away. You will understand where your money is going, the kind of thing you buy, 
Is it degrading or does it make you look like a lady or does it make you look elegant? So you will be able to see that as you, as you open your wardrobe and do this challenge, you will be able to see where your money has gone. You will be able to see that maybe because you are invited to give something away, you, you are maybe perhaps too attached to things even though they don't fit you anymore. Maybe they don't suit your age anymore. So there are plenty of things that God will speak to you through this challenge. And going back to the beginning of this video, if you have a friend there with you or your sister or a sibling, guess what you will be doing while you are doing this challenge? You will be chatting and you won't be able to listen to what God is going to be telling you as you do this challenge. Do you understand? So I am pretty sure that this is going to bless you and also bless others around you. If you have any questions, please let us know. We are here to help. God bless you. See you next time. Bye-bye.